welcome back to easy learning with palakshi and today's our topic is ia preparation part 6 types of pronouns in my last video you got to know about four types of pronouns in this video you will know about other five types of pronouns first demonstrative pronouns the pronouns used to point out the objects to which they refer are called demonstrative pronouns this that these and those are four demonstrative pronouns this and that are used for singular nouns but this shows nearness and that shows farness these and those are used for plural nouns but these shows nearness and those shows farness example this is the book you gave me here this shows nearness and is singular these books belong to me here this is used for nearness and is plural that house belong to my family here that is singular and shows farness those hills form a part of the himalayas here those shows farness and is plural uses of demonstrative pronouns first that is also used to avoid repetition of a preceding noun means the word that the pronoun that is used to avoid repetition of a noun that is preceding example the climate of belgium is like that of pune second when this and that are used with a noun they become a demonstrative adjective example this book is mine here this word is used with the noun book and hence work as a demonstrative adjective this pen is yours here too this works as demonstrative adjective when two th- third when two things have already been mentioned are referred to this refers to the thing last mentioned means the word this refers to the thing last mentioned and the word that refers to the thing first mentioned example what you and vice offer themselves for your choice this means here it refers to vice that came at the last leads to misery that here that refers to the things to the thing first mentioned what you to happens indefinite pronoun words everybody everyone everything somebody someone something anybody anyone anything nobody no one nothing all one of and none of use of indefinite pronoun first anyone is used only with the number of person or thing referred to is more than two second the pronoun one is followed by one example one must not be too serious in his duties this sentence is wrong because the pronoun one must be followed by one only no other pronoun must follow the pronoun one so the correct answer will be one must not be too serious in one's duties third indefinite pronouns are generally followed by the singular of the verb example nobody was present for the ceremony everybody has his own ideas which he hated to change
fourth none none can be used in singular or plural depending on the context example imagine as if a and b are two persons and a says to b did you purchase any magazines b answers there here it's not e r e it's a r e there are none in the shop distributive pronoun there are three types each of which is used for more than two persons or things either of which is used between two persons or things and neither of which is used between two persons of things these all have singular verbs relative pronoun relative pronoun relates to sentence the relative pronouns are who whose whom which and that case pronoun singular or plural in subjective case who comes in possessive case whose comes and in objective case whom and who comes example this is the boy who works hard this is the boy whose exercise is well done who and whom are used for persons while whose is applied to persons and things relative pronoun not only relate to antecedent but also join the antecedent to the rest of the sentence use of relative pronoun first that is used for persons and things it may refer to a singular or a plural noun that has no possessive case and it is never used with a preposition preceding example this is the boy that i told you of third which is used for thing without life and for animals it may refer to a singular or a plural example the books which help you most are those which make you think most fourth which was sometimes formally used to refer to persons example he said he saw me there which was a lie fifth that may be used as an adverbial objective which is equal to on which in which and at which example i remember the day that he came this means that i remember the day on which he came sixth as the relative pronoun that is sometimes becomes unsuitable but suitable for who and which this means in a sentence sometimes that is unsuitable for use but who or which is suitable for use example my father that is a school master is 50 years old this sentence is odd and is wrong my father who is a school master is 50 years old this sounds right and who is suitable here so this is correct specific uses of that first after adjective in the superlative degree example this is the best birthday gift which i have ever received yet yeah, this is wrong because as per the rule for superlative degree of adjective we do not use which means we use that so this is wrong and the sentence this is the best birthday gift that i have ever received is correct second with some of the indefinite pronouns such as all any none everything nothing something none only some etc example 
all which glitters is not gold this sentence is wrong because for indefinite pronouns like all we use that not which so this is wrong so the correct sentence will be all that glitters is not gold third sentence beginning with an interrogative pronoun example what is there which is impossible for the god so what is an interrogative pronoun and that's why we use that not to which so this sentence is wrong so the correct sentence will be what is there that is impossible for the god fourth after two subjects one denoting a person and other denoting an animal or thing example the boy and his dog that had trespassed on the club premises were turned out interrogative pronoun interrogative pronouns are used in asking indirect questions example tell me what you have done so this is a question and here what is a interrogative pronoun who is a interrogative pronoun and it refers to the person which is also an interrogative pronoun and it refers to person or thing what refers to non living things only example who is knocking the door what have you found what does not refers to the person but refers to his professions or employment compound interrogative pronoun like whoever whichever and whatever now you know about types of pronouns in my next video you will know about pronoun rules till then thank you